You're listening to Holistic Radio. My name is Jaap van Kluiven, and it's time to talk with Thor Gundersen again. And I'm so happy to meet you again because you came all along from Norway to the Costa Blanca. Yeah, yeah. I uh, am staying here for some holidays with my son and grandson and uh, Lisbeth. Lisbeth, your wife. Well, it's interesting to talk about wives or partners because that's a part of the program we are going to make now, the people in your life and what that means. But let's start at the beginning. Maybe it's good for the new listeners to explain a little bit about who you are and your work because what we are expressing in the programs we are making can be quite confrontating and uh, that also makes it interesting. So what we are going to talk about is education in self-development at high levels. So that means we have very important information to the listeners. Yeah, I uh, chose to call it education in uh, self-development at high levels because um, we are uh, anyhow getting uh, rid of uh, old programs that run our system and this we clear up uh, a lot of sick layers every time. But uh, since we've been here for uh, thousands of uh, years in many cases and uh, millions of years uh, from our ancestors which uh, which is uh, loaded into our system it uh, takes time and patience uh, to go through this so just to be as uh, relaxed as possible and just do the work yourself you don't have even have to think about doing this work of going through it because it clears off your thinking process uh, also these carousels that i told you about in the um, former um, interview Well, this is what I mean. It is already confrontating because there are many people um, who are shocked when they hear, well, I'm an end product of many ancestors. And uh, we have been talking about the repeat button in the first program, which we will talk about again because it's very important. But what we are talking about today is about behavioral patterns. Yes, we are uh, running our system and uh, believing that we are uh, our personality, uh, not uh, having insight that our so-called personality or personalities is downloaded from our ancestors. And there are, uh, of course, uh, millions of uh, or billions of ancestors in our genetic material, which forms the belief system or even your patterns and your emotions and feelings that are... Uh, influenced by um, by the download from our ancestors and uh, could also mention other levels that we have been to or other civilizations that we have been to uh, in the universe well Thor that means that we are talking about uh, a subject uh, beyond the human intellect so we must invite the listeners already to let loose their own intellect just to let this information come over them because Well, maybe the time has come to forget about your own ego. Yes, uh, it's very good to think that we we don't have to think too much because uh, most people are bothered by all these uh, worries and uh, dependencies or uh, based on, uh, as mentioned, uh, survival. Uh, almost everybody's in this survival modus. It's not necessary to keep on doing this survive modus Many people have been to, for example, regression therapy, and it has been uh, written books about this, how people experience so-called dying process and uh, how what comes afterwards. And uh, we don't need anybody to tell us about this, in fact, because we already know it, how it is. But since the levels are changing, uh, we will uh, go more directly upwards after this uh, stations or levels that has been it has been rearranged in a way also so it's easier for us to uh, go through to higher vibrational rates and than we were used to in our experiences during our lives so well talking about levels uh, this is very important because the programs we are making at this moment uh, in holistic radio are a subject because our problem here with our feet on the ground, is that we are stuck in these patterns, what you are talking about, mm -hmm. and that it might be quite easy to get rid of it, only we have no idea how. Yeah, for the very first time in this uh, so-called history of this universe, it has been developed, uh, this kind of uh, course which I'm doing, and uh, they also are 
very pleased because this uh, gains uh, the um, educational system or even those uh, teachers on other levels, they have to also renew their insight because the vibrational level goes up on this planetarian system. And they are very happy uh, about this, of course. It is for the benefit of us all, anyhow. Well, I think it's so important what you are telling now because this means that many people who are trying to help others on this energetical level or with medicine or anything that has to do with (coughs) helping people to get on a better level and make them healthier must let loose the way of their thinking which they did for many, many years. So that's the confrontation we're talking about today. Yeah, in many cases, uh, or uh, we have to renew our educational system because much of it is about uh, pouring more intellectual uh, points of view into the students. And this is not so wise to do because this uh, deals about other people's egos uh, and how they look upon wants to make conclusion that this is the only answer, not actually knowing there are so many ways of uh, so-called answers or ways of thing that is beyond the intellect. And sadly enough, we are often caught up in this arrogancy or this arrogancy that comes with the educational system, believing that you're better off in life just because you have uh, some uh, so-called higher education in uh, your system. As I uh, often, uh, with a certain sense of humor, says that uh, the more educational stuff you're uh, burdened uh, with, the more stupid you have become. (laughs) (laughs) But we must take in this program uh, our responsibility because we are talking beyond the intellect. But how do we help the listeners to understand this because it's so important? Yeah, we can also, of course, uh, communicate uh, with each other with the intellect, but uh, as I also mentioned before, we can observe ourselves by using these words that comes up from our emotions and uh, feelings and through fight, sex and food mechanism or based uh, further down the line with food and uh, reproduction and uh, survival. So, in a way, we have to get out or do the job of uh, not being run by this anymore. But sadly enough, uh, we we are caught up in this too much. And the identification, we, because we are so used to doing this, that um, we uh, don't uh, always see there there is uh, some ways of uh, solving this. And I feel very lucky, or what you can say, that I have developed this system that really works uh, in Uh, But as I also uh, say, that these uh, programs that you're going through, (laughs) you're the deep programmer. Also, you are the boss yourself to solve this uh, or get rid of these old programs that belongs, in fact, uh, to other. So we end up like copies from our ancestors with a lot of survival uh, modus or uh, even killing other people and... uh, treating other people badly and running into all this tyranny or victimized style or whatever we are bothered with so and also pretending to be nice and so on instead of uh, yeah but you know uh, this download this is so vast that we cannot really grasp it with our intellect and that is uh, very hard for us to see there's something bothering my system but I cannot uh, get into what uh, what this bothering surface and surely and this is a download from our ancestors and there are so many more <laughs> than so-called me mm-hmm. even though we have been here some thousands of years there are millions of years in our download from our ancestors but the trap here on earth is the ego so how do we get rid of this trap yeah, the ego is a wonderful invention in a in a way, but it keeps us like slaves in old patterns, and uh, this is not so wise to repeat all the time, which we actually do uh, during our lives, and getting into new parents or choosing to come back here on this planet. In many cases, we are drawn back here uh, to experience more, but in fact, we are caught up in uh, even more limitations and. 
it's a kind of desperation in people. How do you can uh, get out of this? Uh, and m- many feel threatened about uh, if they should uh, actually do something about it or go to a course to get rid of this because uh, they identify themselves with uh, these uh, patterns and, and therefore it feels threatening for people. Oh no, I don't want to do that. This becomes more uncomfortable for people to be in their own, uh, call it room, it becomes more uh, suffering, and in that way, the ego, <laughs> these um, old limitations, uh, almost uh, forces us in a way that we have to do other choices in life or get away so we can reopen the door again. And this has been explained to me from other levels also This about this room, that it will be more and more unpleasant for people to be in this room. Mm. until the very day they decide to reopen the door again, so by new choices, Mm. instead of running these old programs. It sounds like a punishment, but uh, it is in fact the opposite. It is a marvelous uh, way of confronting yourself in your own special way to get out or unlock the, the door again. Well, maybe that gives a feeling of relief also to our listeners that it's not a punishment what we are talking about, but it's a kind of uh, of gift uh, which we can use and maybe should use if we listen to people uh, like you because uh, we can get rid of this repeat button we were talking about, which we will talk about again after this music break. You're listening to Holistic Radio. My name is Jaap van Kluiven and I'm talking with Thor Gundersen from Norway about education in self-development at high levels. But what we are talking about, uh, Thor, is, well, how can I express this? Our brains work with a form and structure that cannot be understood in a normal way of thinking. Uh, learned behavior is also belongs to this form and thought form and emotional forms or how we act is also forms mm-hmm. and it runs our system so in fact in in the courses uh, which I do I use of course uh, intellectual but it isn't uh, intellectual course but we have to talk about the intellect and feelings and so on by using intellectual words but I do say it every time in the courses as far as I remember that uh, is uh, reopening our potential again. That is far beyond this uh, intellect. Well, let's criticize ourselves, uh, because many people will recognize them in, well, we need intellect. But we are talking on a completely different level, because the intellect is a part of your belief system. Yes, and we uh, do use it, uh, and it's nice uh, to use the intellect, but only as a tool and never as a, I call it truth, then, because mm-hmm. there are so many vibrational uh, rates in this, uh, in our uh, development. By using the intellect in, uh, that you believe that you are your own thoughts and your emotions and feelings, forgetting that it is uh, the copying from our ancestors, and uh, who would they really like to be a copy of other people? It's uh, nicer to be the boss in your life and be responsible for your life. And we often, uh, being responsible for your life seems to be a heavy burden to be responsible for yourself. But in fact, it's just the opposite. Uh, that is to say, you stop blaming on circumstances or other people for our very existence. Yeah. yeah. But the intellect, which is part of our ego, is eager to find or to get rewards, uh, being loved. You want other people to listen to you. You want your partner be the same like you and think the same like you. Yeah, uh, it's like uh, two uh, different planetary systems meeting each other, this carousel of egos, that we often want our partners to be caught up in our egos uh, and... uh, be a part of our ego and manipulate each other and expect that uh, your partners uh, will fulfill all your desires and all your longings and these are also your ego <laughs> well then let's let's talk about the reason why in this life we have partners yeah mostly it's just to experience ourselves in a way by having partners so 
when uh, we uh, maybe leave a partner or the partner leaves us uh, it's because then the partner has done his job or we have experienced enough in this partnership so it's simply just to change the partner so you can experience more of ourselves in a quite another matter but often we attract the same partners again because these are unsolved business in our system that we keep on hanging on to and when we meet another planetarian system or partner in uh, her ego or his ego carousel we try the same trick over again and succeed as little as possible as last time so <laughs> then we call our partners they're all lousy and so on and but you invite them just they trying to show you something about yourself which you don't uh, want to look upon or deny or holding on and your learned behavior, behavior patterns, for example, which you hold on to. So this we have to let go so we can be more humble to our partners, not to be a slave of our partners, but uh, that we both can be bosses in our uh, lives and two bosses that meet each other will work together or cooperate with each other or else we will be trying to force our partner into be, become a victim of our opinions, which is, of course, the ego of that also. Are we talking, Thor, about how can I say that? A kind of contract on a soul level? Yeah, in many cases we have uh, contracts and contracts. Uh, uh, yeah, we have a life program that we um, talk with other levels before we enter this planetary system to make the best educational system or what to go through, which you haven't experienced before. If you only have n so-called nice lives with your rich parents, you may end up in a slum next time, so you can uh, gain more humbleness how it is to be poor in life. So if you are only born rich every time, you would lack insight how it is to live in different circumstances. And we are here to experience or uh, for the most to get rid of our limitations so we can uh, heighten our frequency levels. All this ego stuff keeps us down in uh, the same old frequency levels that we keep on repeating. So we have to go into our room, which is an uh, unpleasant stay or to be there, but it is necessary. And as I mentioned, it's not a punishment, but it's a kind of a uh, a chance to unlock our own door and reopen ourselves to more options in life and choices in life, which is uh, more to the front part of the brain and higher beings uh, or uh, here and now experiences. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I don't have to qu ask that question again because I was going to ask you about open the front part of your brain, but maybe you can explain what does it mean? That simply means we become more human-like. <laughs> Everybody thinks that the ego is the human uh, existence. In a, it's true in a way, but it's a limited human existence with our intellect and all this blah, 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 and arrogancy by education, looking down on other people and all this better research thinking or trying to keep all other people down or step on other people. It goes only back to your own ego, and you have to be the the one to solve this. Uh, nobody else can do it for you, but you can do it in my courses. So you can reopen up to the front part of the brain. And I've seen many of these uh, highly smart people, which they believe they are. They've shut down the front part of the brain, so they're only gathering more ego information from other people and serving this in their lectures and so on, and believing they're very much smarter than others. But in uh, in a way, they, it's the opposite. In a way, it's the opposite. I think you are completely right. And that's why your workshops are so interesting, which you give in Norway, but uh, happily also in, in Holland, for example, and here in Spain, and maybe in other countries. Because what you are doing for all these people who are interested in what you are communicating is learn to be loyal to yourself. Yes, that simply means that you're loyal, that you should also accept that um, your limitations, uh, that you're able to be loyal, to the, be the observer uh, instead of uh, identifying yourself with your limitations. By doing so, you regain the quietness in your system 
where you stop being impressed by all this intellectual blah 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 or carousel that runs uh, your head and they, uh, day and night and uh, many of these um, people do meditation and so on i looked up on this uh, meditating people so uh, some changes uh, in the brain but uh, when you start leaving your fixed position in meditation you are only stuck by all these uh, attitudes uh, again and again so but uh, in my courses I- I- you go into a kind of meditation I- in a natural way we open up to the front part of the brain which all these people uh, more or less try to open up by sitting for hours in a fixed position trying to open their front part of the brain <laughs> But uh, when you start opening the front part of the brain, you become more uh, aware of different life expressions that uh, might say have the task of following your development on this planetarian system. And they are, as mentioned before, trying to connect or uh, would very much like to have this communication with us so we can uh, develop further in, in life more than we believe that it was ever possible to do. And when I realized that this also makes it possible, using the front part of your brains, uh, makes it possible to observe yourself as an observer. Yes, because this uh, front part of the brain is more um, by living in the present moment, while the rest of the brain is living in the past or trying to use uh, the past uh, methods to uh, cope with the so-called future. But you end up just doing the same old uh, stuff again. So worrying about the future in the night and so on, because they think that the, the more uh, worries that you have in life, the more mature you are. But uh, forgetting that it's only uh, a carousel of this uh, thinking process that is more or less automatically. And uh, the intellect is a, a kind of automatically burbing up from emotions and feelings and making uh, a lot of... Uh, nice words and so on so it sounds nice for other people but it's the same limitations anyhow so. well what i think now is that the word humble if we use that sometimes sounds weak but in this case being humble because being open for this way of thinking beyond the human intellect this humbleness <coughs> is very important to reach this level Yeah, I think many people are pretending to be very tolerant while the rage or the fury or uh, the anger uh, rages uh, within themselves. I think in many cases it's better to show this uh, angerness or instead of this pretending tolerance or uh, being humble. Humbleness is a nice uh, word to use or uh, a nice condition to be in. And uh, by accepting, in, in many cases, you just have to accept there are, that there are higher vibrations in this universe. You simply can just accept it without s- even seeing it or able to hear it. But you just simply can accept this. And uh, the front part of the brain also, and uh, the top of our head also, it is about higher vibrational rates, which we can be more... Um, you know the nerve system longest extent that is uh, that what decides decides but if and that is the front part of the brain Mm -hmm. with the choices and so on but when you come to the middle part of the brain with all this noise and blah 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 you never reach the front part of the brain so this is more or less uh, nobody has any access to the front part of the brain so therefore, this uh, goes on and on and on. Well, what we are talking about is that you are able to, to explain to people or to teach them how to be the boss of your life. But at the same time, that makes many people afraid because then you take the responsibility back to yourself. That's confrontating. Yeah, people think that they're responsible for their own life, uh, stop blaming on others and uh, doing all these control p- uh, patterns or trying to control other people by pretending to be a victim in life, which is a uh, part of the ego. And the tyrant is uh, being a tyrant also is a part of the ego. If you're a boss in life, you don't uh, use these uh, two aspects in the dualistic uh, word, uh, which has to do with judging and conclusions and all this 
stuff that you try to impress other people with. So by reopening up the front part of the brain, we start seeing more clearly the limitations that we even are running, is still running in our system. And therefore, in the courses that you are able to put up your hand and say that I still have this, so it will benefit all the uh, people in the courses. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was nice because I have this. It was nice that they mentioned it. And then we just set this process into action and all the stuck energy that goes with it. So next time you come to the course, you don't have this anymore. Mm-hmm. You're the one to solve this. Yeah. We just agree, as I mentioned. So there's hope because we can get rid of this tyranny which we have around us and which is also a part of politics and and problems in our life and in this world. In fact, we have to begin with ourselves instead of pointing on other people. We have to uh, do the job of working through it. But uh, in men, sometimes it's not uh, pleasant to discover all the hate and jealousy that you try to hide away from other people and pretend that you're a nice person and so on until you get so angry one day that you do uh, not nice things to other people. So So we always have to begin with ourselves, you know. That's our uh, true, in a way, more responsible for this. But that's not uh, keep on accusing yourself or putting yourself down and going around feeling that you're never good enough. Mm-hmm. And because uh, most people are bothered by this. They never feel that they are good enough or they should uh, be more of this or more of that. And that's the ego. We just simply deprogram all this. So we can have more communication in a natural way because the front part of our brain although it sounds threatening to be the boss in life, is natural for us. But we don't have any uh, very much experience by uh, by these natural conditions, so by reopening our brain. Uh, very few people have access to the front part of the brain. But the conclusion is, being loyal to yourself makes you able to be loyal to the people around you and to the world. Yeah, in a way they learn that uh, if you are loyal to all these endless choices and endless options that uh, you just do as a living person uh, instead of run by, uh, by these automatically responses that belongs to these patterns that you are more or less or not only more or less but uh, that uh, enslaves you. So it keeps you away from uh, reopening the potential in your system that is far beyond uh, the intellect and by doing so you increase also the vibrational rate so you can start having communication with other life expressions that is simply on other frequency levels by clearing off your system you just open up uh, or heighten your frequency level so it's very good to do that because it becomes it's, it's natural for us as I told people or this has never been a secret, yeah. but if you just simply have been too blocked yeah. and it's maybe time to unlock the blockages, which, of course, in my courses, as I say to people over and over again, you're the one, you're the one to do it yeah. and you're able to do it. It does, whether you believe it or not. So you don't have to believe in my courses. It works anyhow. So. That's interesting. It works anyhow. So that's an invitation to many people, to many listeners who are interested in meeting you. Well, of course, that's possible. It's possible here regularly at uh, the Costa Blanca in Spain where we make this program, but it's also possible in Norway or in Holland or any other country where you come. And uh, for the international listeners, it's maybe the best to go to the website of uh, Thur Gundersen tourgundersen.net and tour you write tour with a t-h-o-r and gundersen with a g-u-n-t-e-r-s-e-n so it's tourgundersen.net but for the listeners at the Costa Blanca for the local listeners it's maybe easy to get in contact with Bertie Flegert and we are talking with each other uh, Thor, in the office of uh, Bertie you can contact Bertie via her Email that is a vlegert at hotmail dot com, a vlegert at hotmail dot com, and vlegert. Well, it's a Dutch name and it's written with double G.
or you can call Bertie and uh, maybe uh, Bertie because I want to thank you very much for making it possible again to talk with Thor in your office can you give us your telephone number my telephone number is 9668738888 one more time 9668738888 and if you call from another country then it is plus 34 and uh, well for it's possible for the listeners to make an appointment to meet you as soon as possible you are giving workshops and you are doing individual readings as we uh, call it so the listener who is interested to meet thor just take contact the best way to reach bertie as soon as possible is via her email address and that is a flegert at hotmail.com a flegert at hotmail.com Thor, thank you very much for this second interview and there is more to come yes and uh, thanks a lot to you also so I hope also the listeners enjoyed what I told them almost uh, could be kind of shocking but uh, mostly of this I told you you know it uh, within yourself so it's just to reopen the information or wisdom that uh, lies uh, within yourself already so it's not a problem it's just uh, get into action again or reopen your uh, resources or your potential that I say is far beyond your intellect so good luck to all of you and thanks I'm very happy bye okay and we are very happy to meet you here thank you very much and see you next time